tonight's the night for Princeton. Another historic jersey run in the NCAA men's basketball tournament. The Tigers are playing in the Sweet 16. It's an unlikely event for a team that was all but dormant just two years ago during the pandemic, and now only the fourth Ivy League team to ever make it this far. The team is in Louisville, Kentucky for their matchup with Creighton. Ted Goldberg is on the ground there, and Ted, it's looking more and more like New Jersey is a Cinderella state. Brianna, you can call New Jersey the Garden State, the Cinderella State, whatever you want. If Princeton wins tonight, you can also call New Jersey a state that's produced elite eight teams in back to back seasons. Of course, we all remember the Cinderella run that St. Peter's went on last year. And tonight, Princeton plays in its first Sweet 16 game since 1967. Players and people around the program may not be shocked that they've gotten this far, but a lot of people nationwide are, including Princeton fans, alums, and students. Plenty of them made the trip to Louisville to see the Tigers try and continue their surprising run. A lot of shock, I would say, to be honest. Uh, last weekend we were traveling with the women's basketball team and supporting them, and we were watching very adamantly from a Chili's uh, the men's basketball game and ended up, you know, sort of scaring away, I think, everybody else in the Chili's as we we were very excited. Growing up, I watched March Madness like every year, and just following like, all the Cinderella stories is always so cool. And this year, like actually being like a part of that Cinderella story is like an insane experience. We got on the plane, and everybody was cheering for the Tigers. We got, and we're from Atlanta, so people from Atlanta were flying up, and it's like half the plane was like full of Tigers. I gotta admit, I thought they were gonna lose first round against here. Was Arizona, and then. Who knew? And we just couldn't help but keep following. It's been an interesting experience. My wife and I, we've really enjoyed it. Um, just watching the team grow, uh, uh, play a lot of games, and you know, just through the trials and tribulations that they had to go through as a team. But these are a great group of kids and the coach and the staff. Watching them come along and, and then you know, exceed expectations has been, been spectacular. It's always nice uh, being the underdog because everybody cheers for you. It seems now that everybody wants to be part of the Princeton pride. Governor Phil Murphy came to practice this week, and Senator Cory Booker FaceTimed the team. You know, there's stars galore at our university, <clears throat> economics professors, chemistry professors, and uh, fun, to, fun to see our guys be recognized as celebrities. As fun as this all is, it's, um, it's just, it's, it's a life-changing moment for our group. And you now, uh, th three weeks ago, we were fighting for our life to make the Ivy League tournament. Um, so uh, just, just appreciating being present here is, is really special. Yeah, it's very special. Um, I'm very thankful and fortunate to have, uh, you know, audiences from both sides. And I've definitely felt the love, um, you know, since, since the tournament started and, and before that as well, obviously. But, you know, it's been great, um, you know, hopefully being able to, to have, a, have an impact on the younger generation. This week is awesome. Uh, it's, it's the best busy that I've ever been in my life. Uh, getting tons of ticket requests, tons of media requests for our, our players and our coaches. Um, and it's all wonderful. It's, it, it's the world is getting to see what I've known about Princeton for a while, which this is a special place with special people. Just in case the seniors on this team didn't have enough to worry about, they're all still working on their senior thesis paper due in just a few short weeks. At least one economics professor traveled with the team down here to Louisville, Kentucky to help players get through that. Tonight, everybody's focused on this Sweet 16 game, though, and trying to help the Tigers advance to the Elite Eight. In Louisville, Kentucky, I'm Ted Goldberg.